The United States presidential election in Alabama, 1960 was held on November 8, 1960, as part of that year's national presidential election. Eleven Democratic electors were elected, of whom six voted for Harry F. Byrd and five for John F. Kennedy. In Alabama, voters voted for electors individually instead of as a slate, as in the other 49 states. There were 22 electors on the ballot, 11 Republicans and 11 Democrats. Voters could vote for up to 11 candidates. As a result of a state primary, the Democratic Party had a mixed slate of electors, five being pledged to Kennedy and the remaining six being unpledged. The highest vote for a presidential elector was 324,050 votes for Frank M. Dixon, who was unpledged. The highest vote for an elector pledged to Kennedy was 318,303 for C. G. Allen, and the highest vote for a Republican elector was 237,981 for Cecil Durham, which was lower than the vote for any Democratic elector. As a result, six unpledged electors and five electors pledged to Kennedy were elected. All six elected unpledged electors cast their vote for Byrd. Varying methods have been used to break down the vote into Kennedy and unpledged votes. One method is to take the 318,303 votes as Kennedy votes and the 324,050 votes as unpledged votes, giving a total much higher than the actual votes cast. Another is to take the 318,303 votes as Kennedy votes and the remainder 5 votes as unpledged votes. A third is to split the 324,050 in the proportion of 5 elevenths to 6 elevenths, giving 147,295 votes for Kennedy and 176,755 for unpledged electors. In all cases Richard Nixon has 237,981 votes. If the last method were used, it would mean that Nixon not only won the popular vote in Alabama, but won it nationally. Topic: Results. Asterisk presidential electors were elected as individuals rather than as a slate. The votes shown are for the highest unpledged elector, the highest elector pledged to Kennedy and the highest elector pledged to Nixon, respectively. Asterisk asterisk all six unpledged electors voted for Harry F. Byrd. See also United States presidential elections in which the winner lost the popular vote hash 1960 Alabama results ambiguity